Welcome to White Chocolate Source, this is Harry. In this video, we will be installing Portainer, which is a management tool to manage our Docker containers. We will also be installing Jellyfin Media Server on our Docker using Portainer. And I will show you how to upload contents on the media server, as well as how to access using mobile application. So let's start. For the installation of Portainer, we will follow the guide or the documents provided on Portainer website. We will select Portainer Server Installation, then Docker Standalone. And then select Docker on Linux since our Docker is installed on our Ubuntu server. Here are some of the requirements needed before you can install Portainer. So this is the step-by-step -step guide that we are going to follow. Now let's connect to our server via SSH. So I am using a Windows application called the MOBA Xterm. After login, let us update our file system first. Let us create the volume first that the Portainer server will be using to store its database. Then we need to choose the community edition only, so let's copy the command from there, then paste it to our terminal. Oh, uh, we forgot the sudo command, so let's put it in. Yeah, now it's pulling the portainer image. Then we do sudo docker ps to verify if the image is installed. Next, let us access the IP address for our server and input the port 9443 as we have assigned for portainer. Let's create our admin password and then select create user. I would like to create another user account so that we can leave alone our admin account. Okay, let's now log in to the user account that we have created. Okay, so we have successfully installed our portainer. If we go to local environment, we can see the containers that we currently have on our Docker server such as hello world that we use for testing and of course our portainer. We can now move on to installing our Jellyfin media server. On the local environment, go to containers then select add container. Let's input the name of our container which is Jellyfin. Then we need to input the image name from the Docker Hub. In this case, is uh, Jellyfin slash Jellyfin. Now let's go to Manual Network Port Publishing. Then input our Jellyfin port for host and container, which is eight zero nine six. Then, we need to input the volumes for this container, so let's create 4 volumes. But before we input our details for the volume, we need to create folders first on our server that uh, we will bind into our container. So we need to create Jellyfin folder followed by two subfolders which is config and data. Then under data, we need to create 3 folders that we will be using for uploading movies, music, and TV shows. Okay, now let us bind the folders that we have created into our container. So 
So here is the exact settings. Now let's move to environment variables. Here we need to add three variables. So they are PUID, PGID, and TZ for time zone. So here our PUID and PGID value is set to 1000. To know the ID value of the user, you can run ID then the username on the terminal and you will see the value on UID and GID. Now let's go to restart policy and select the unless stop policy. We also need to disable auto remove. And now we can deploy the container. So our container is already installed and we can also see it on our server. Now we are ready to set up the Jellyfin media server. Let's access our server IP with the Jellyfin port. Click next. Then input our username and password. Now we need to add the media library and connect them to the folders that we have created a while ago. First, we will be creating a library for movies. So let us select the folder path which is data slash movies. Preferred download language, we'll just set it to English. Then leave the rest as default. Okay, let's do the same for music and TV shows. Now that we have created our media library, click next, metadata language set it to English and country we set it to Macau. Also we will uncheck the allow remote connections to this server. Okay we're done and uh, click finish. Next, I want to do is to create another user account. So we go to Profile, Dashboard, Users. Then Add User. We will just input the name and password for the new user. And for Library Access, we enable access to all libraries. Okay, click Save. And we can test to log into our new account. So it now has the access to the media libraries that we created. Then let's move on to uploading contents to our server. Here we can use an FTP client called WinSCP. Then we can SFTP to our server.
Once we are connected, we can navigate to our media folder for movies. Okay, let's try to upload the movie. So, um, select Hacksaw Ridge as a sample. Okay, after upload, we can refresh the web page and as you can see, it's now showing the Hacksaw Ridge. Let's try to play it. Next, let us try to upload music for our music folders. So, same step. Let's try to upload some John Mayer albums. This will take around 2 minutes to synchronize. So, let's log out and log in again. Now we can see the 4 albums that we uploaded, so we can go to music and play some. Then last, I would like to show you how we can access our media server using our mobile phone at home. So this will work if you are connected to the same network or Wi-Fi as the server. So on your phone, go to Play Store and search for Jellyfin. Let's install it and open. For host settings, let's put our server IP together with our port 8096. Okay, now we are connected, we can log in. And that's it, we can watch the movies or listen to the music that we have uploaded. So that's all. I hope you get something from this video. Thank you for watching and see you on the next one.